I'd like to call the Monday, March 25th meeting to order. Roll call. Mrs. Nazario? Here. Mr. Ferguson? Here. <laughs> Dr. Ballard? Here. Mr. Sturgill? Here. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Gahanis. Mr. May, if you'd be so kind yeah. as to introduce our guests. Yeah, sure. Looks like we have one coming in now. Welcome. We will stall for you. Yep. All's good. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. All right, so tonight we have students from Stephen DeHannis Elementary School be leading the pledge. Uh, Ms. Deshook, the principal is here tonight, support her students. And I'm going to see, let's see how we do here if, if, uh, who's here. I think we maybe. Everyone but Sophia. Everybody but Sophia. All right, perfect. All right, now is this Angelina Lise? Angela 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 Nilis? All right. Tell them one more time. Fourth time, I'll get it right. <laughs> Angelina Nilis. Got it. So Very she's pretty. a fifth Beautiful. grade student and the daughter of Victor Ortega and Rose Rosario. Angeline, Angeline Nelis. No, I, I ruined that again. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Angelina. Oh. Angelina. Is that how you like Thanks. Yeah. We, right. have to, we have to tone things down for him too. So, so she <laughs> participates in Girls on Run and Fuel Up to Play 60. And she's an ambassador. Uh, we have Natalia Maldonado. She's a fourth grade student and the daughter of Juan and Jennifer Maldonado. Natalia is a member of Girls on the Run, Fuel Up to Play 60. She's an ambassador as well. Safety Patrol and Volleyball. And then uh, Coralise is here. All right. Coralise Hernandez, she's a fourth grade student and the daughter of, is it Raisa Hernandez Bermudez? Did I get that right? Close, hopefully. All right, great. Uh, she's a member of Fuel Up to Play 60 and she also is an ambassador. And then we have Ethan Reyes and he's a fifth grade student and the son of Sarah Reyes. And he's a member of Fuel Up to Play 60, or Fuel Up to Play and Safety Patrol as well. Um, so after the pledge, the students will speak to us on Fuel Up to Play 60. Um, so if you guys could come on over by the flag and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Maybe angle that microphone down because it's also what captures it on the video. Yep, whatever's easier for you. Monthly games for our PBIS cel celebrations as an Ambassador, we have weekly meetings to discuss upcoming events within the school. We pick out the games that we that will be played during the school wide PBIS celebration. We have also started to teach the game and make sure everyone is following the during the rules play. We help pass out the daily snack and fresh fruit or vegetable for the day. We are given a monthly schedule from Mrs. Sable. We report to the cafeteria and load the snacks in our mobile meal cart. Ms. Sable got a grant last year and we received two mobile meal carts from Fuel Up to Play 60. Mario Kart event in April for K through second. We help Miss Sable run the races for Mario Kart. We manage the pit stop and help a little, the little kids around the track. Field day we help help Miss Sable set up and run the station for field day for grades K through second. Good evening. We are the Phillips to Play Ambassadors S from Stephen DeHannis Elementary. 
Philip to play 60 is a national leading young wellness program empowering students, parents, and educators to work together and build healthier communities. Thank you for letting us speak tonight. Thank you. I just want to say thanks for your leadership um, at school and that you talked about how you helped the little kids out. I really, really, really appreciate and respect that. Um, and uh, thanks for your leadership and how you presented yourselves tonight. You guys represented the highness very, very well. But now the fun part for us is we get to have our pictures taken with you. So if everybody can come on up. You have to Siblings, have to parents, folks, everybody. dogs, everybody. No, no, you get fried, I get back. That's how, that's how it works out here. Absolutely want to see pictures of me. Some things Absolutely. popped up very late in the day that you guys should know about. Okay, recognition of visitors, seeing none. First hearing of the public, our public is left. We need to approve the minutes from the March 15th meeting. The board waives the right to read the minutes from the March 15th meeting. So moved. Support. Any discussion? Roll call. Mrs. Nazario? Yes. Mr. Ferguson? Yes. Dr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Sturgill? Yes. I appreciate the voice change. We know the difference between the, <laughs> That's right. the, the any, Secretary Pro Tem and, and. Any old business? Uh, reports and recommendations of the Treasurer. I have items 8.01 to 8.02 for approval. So, so moved. Support. Any discussion? Roll call. Dr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Sturgill? Yes. Mrs. Nazario? Yes. Mr. Ferguson? Sorry. Reports and recommendations of the superintendent. Uh, before I get into my matters uh, for uh, my recommendations, I guess I'd just like to thank uh, folks for all the work that went into the, let me sure I get the name right, the first annual Lorraine City Schools Staff Appreciation Gala. And as I kind of made fun of that night, it's not, it doesn't exactly roll off your tongue, but does kind of describe uh, what the event was. It was a very, very, very classy event uh, held at the shipyards for all staff. Um, I want to thank Julie Garcia and Alexis Ramsey in particular for organizing and coordinating the event and all the work that went into it. Uh, again, very, very classy, and it was all paid for by outside folks. I know there's a lot of rumors that uh, there's, all, there's some hidden fund from the district that paid for it. We paid for none of it. Um, the, the, the money came from local foundations and, local do and, and specific donors and, and sponsors. And they just wanted to celebrate the amazing staff we have here at the Lorraine City Schools, let them know how much we appreciate uh, the work that they do, and give them a chance to celebrate one another. So it was, a, uh, again, just a, an absolutely amazing event, and I'm looking forward to next year's and, and what comes as a, the result. And I think sometimes what's most exciting is the beginning of traditions, and again, I was just uh, pretty excited to be a part of that one. So thank you for, for including me. Um, I would like the board to consider for approval items 9.01 to 9.08, personnel matters. So moves. Support. Any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Sturgill. Yes. Dr. Ballard. Yes. Mrs. Nazario. Yes. Mr. Ferguson. Yes. I'd like the board to consider for approval items 10.01 to 10.08, operations matters. So moved. Support. Any 
discussion? Roll call. Dr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Sturgill? Yes. Mrs. Desario? Yes. Mr. Ferguson? Yes. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any new business? Committee reports? Second here in the other public. Public. Our next board meeting will be on April 22nd. We will not have the April 8th meeting because of the eclipse. Um, it will So April 22nd at 5 o'clock here in the boardroom. And if I could just speak to that, Mrs. Um, sorry, just real quick. Uh, there's, uh, we're going to get some specific information out to people, uh, but the Lorraine Police Department did reach out to us to use a few of our schools um, on April 8th and maybe even the weekend before as people come in. Uh, when we met with the, with the chief and, and the, the members of the police department, what they shared was in cities where this has happened in across the country where we have a front row seat to a phenomenal eclipse, uh, one of the best seats in the country, what they've experienced in other cities around the country is an increase in traffic of 500,000 to 1.5 million people. So because we have two bridges and we're expecting some crowded streets, uh, the Lorraine Police Department will be spread out throughout the city um, and using some of our school buildings for that. Uh, so there's another, uh, other ways we're coordinating with the police department, but uh, we'll get that information out to you soon. But uh, we just want folks to know that there is a coordinated effort with the city and the schools to make sure that our kids and our families in our community is safe and they're working together to make sure everybody has a great experience. Thank so I just want to thank the city for their leadership. Thank you. And we need to go into executive session for A2 and B employment and property. And G. And G. Yeah, I'm sorry. A2, B, and G. Um, so I need a motion to go into executive session. A motion to go into executive session. Second. A roll call. Dr. Ballard. Yes. Mr. Sturgill. Yes. Mrs. Desario. Yes. Mr. Ferguson. Yes. And there'll be no action taken after place. At least I'll be making the recommendations. 